Okay guys, today we're doing the uh, <clears throat> radiator of a 2009 uh, Mazda Speed 3 and the radiator had actually failed um, right here, right along the seam. It's kind of hard to see with this camera, but um, that's where the radiator failed. Of course you can see the uh, coolant leaking out. So we went ahead and got one and we're going to change it out um, just because my battery is low and it's kind of a cold wet day I went ahead and got it out and I'm just gonna show you how we got it out real quick first you've got these um, like pronged clamps here and you see how they have three little tabs here you're gonna have to squeeze all three of those tabs and then lift this out there's one on the uh, driver side and of course there's one on the passenger side that you're going to have to loosen. Oh, and before we do, do any of that, of course, make sure the car's in gear. Um, we're going to put something behind back tires. Of course, we're going to raise the vehicle, put the jack stand down. We have our jack stand underneath. And of course, drain the coolant from the bottom or whatever's left, but there was not much left in this, uh, in this car here. Um, and you don't want to drain the coolant while it's hot. Make sure the vehicle has cooled off. Um, after you've done that, you can go ahead and disconnect the, uh, the battery. Just because you're going to be messing with the, uh, the motor as well to get the radiator out. That way you don't get any kind of arcing or shorting um, from, from the uh, coolant that had kind of spilled on there. You're also going to want to remove the air box here. Remove the air box and that gives you room to actually see where the radiator was. And then of course you'll take off the uh, upper hose here and this is the lower hose and the radiator actually sits in there just like this. Um, also you go ahead and remove the um, little overflow hose that's right here. You're going to unhook the uh, fan motor and then you're also going to unclamp this ground wire here and that ground goes to the uh, goes to the fan motor all right once you've um, released everything there that's when you want to worry about these clamps here and these are have a little F facing for the front so you can see where the arrow goes and know how to put them back in but again you're gonna have to squeeze all three of these tabs and lift them out it was uh, a little annoying to do with a pair of vice grips and a uh, flathead screw screwdriver we were able to get them out and that's both of those all right now if you've done that <clears throat> while the radiator is still in the car it's kind of hard to show you what's going on so it's, it's easier to show you while it's out there's these four tabs here you've got one two three and four and that's how you're gonna actually slide this um, motor out so you see how it kind of pops out you'll use your flathead here just to push those tabs in and once you've got them all loosened you can remove the uh, the motor or the fan I mean off the radiator like I said this will still be in the car when you're doing it but there's just not a lot of space in there for me to really show you what's going on just make sure you put that somewhere somewhere safe put that there for now all right and then on the other side of the radiator you're actually gonna have the condenser for the um, AC system which is attached to this front part I don't know if you can see these clips really well but you've got these um these clips here one there and oh there's the other one and the condenser coil is actually gonna slide out and actually when I get back under the car to put the uh, new radiator in I'll show you how those pieces fit but it's not it's not really difficult it's just you don't have a lot of room to work with and um, it was just kind of hard to show you guys what was going on there so give me a minute to get the uh, new radiator radiator out the box and um, go ahead and just how to show you uh, show you how to put it all back together also on the new radiator um, it did not have the 
the little um, bushings here that sit on the bottom. And this is what um, attaches it, you know, into the bottom of the car. Um, so you just can pull them off. If you're having a little trouble, you can use a flathead. Just be careful not to cut the bushing, but they should just pull right off. And there's two of them, and these will be on the bottom. Okay, after you've put your little bump stops back on, if you're having trouble putting them on, you can always uh, pu uh, pull the dipstick out and put a little bit of uh, oil just on the end of the uh, radiator here, and it'll help those just kind of slide on. Um, just make sure you've got the radiator um, in the right direction and everything. I still have the uh, little cap here that's uh, keeping debris from getting in there, so I'll leave that on until I actually attach a hose. But we're going to. Um, Go underneath, slide the radiator in just because it's much easier. There's more room. I don't want to ding this thing up. But we're going to slide it back in from uh, underneath the vehicle, and I'll show you how it attaches to the, uh, the AC uh, condenser. Alright All right, guys, actually before we get under there and put, um, put the radiator back in, we're going to just go ahead and attach the, uh, the fan to it first. So this is the fan going into the new radiator. Just because it looks like it'll be easier to do it this way. So those tabs just line up. And they're going to slide back in. And I'm going to have to put the phone down. It's a little tricky one-handed. But that's how she'll fit back in there. All right, so now I'm underneath the car. This is the condenser here we're looking at. This is passenger side. This is um, driver side. And oh, this better hold this camera. And this is one of the tabs here that locks in. It doesn't really lock it, it actually slides into the, uh, the um, front of the radiator. And then there's one down here in the bottom. So you have the one, two, and then passenger side, three, and somehow that slides in. But those are the tabs there. All right, so let me get uh, half of this thing put on and I'll show you how to slide in the other half. 